Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be entirely on the achievements that were added within the previous patch as well as the one before this. So, there was a few, uh, a few achievements that I refused to do videos on that ended up being like very, very small things that, I mean, it's like, why would I make a video on it if there's so little that it's just going to be like nothing, like it's a 30 second clip. I mean... Plus, they're not really that helpful of achievements to really get at the time. And I knew they were going to stick around, so, I mean, I, I figured it would be best to wait. But, let's get into the achievements. So the first one is to win the Infiltration LTM 10 times during Season 2. The Infiltration LTM is not available. It will not be available. Uh, not for a while. If it ends up being next week, I don't doubt it, but... This was added a couple of weeks ago, um, and people were like, oh, Infiltration, what's this? It's, it's It never came out. So I had a feeling that this wasn't going to be something that comes until later in the season, because Infiltration, it kind of makes you think like, oh, we're going to be infiltrating the enemy base, and that's going to decide whether Ghost or Shadow wins. Like, that's how I think of this. So there is an achievement to win the Infiltration LTM 10 times. Do not know when that's coming out, but when it does, that achievement will be activated. And then there's another one to use a disguise to switch sides during the infiltration LTM. So you can be on Ghost or Shadow side and then use a disguise and then you're on the Ghost or Shadow side. The next achievement, as you can see here by this game, click, game clip, is to fly a choppa in Season 2. Very, very simple to do. Just land at one of the spy bases that has a helipad, grab the choppa, and then you're done. Now the next one, as you can see here, I'm going to go through the spy games in the lobby just to show you. You have to win Operation Drop Zone match once and ten times, and then you have to win an Operation Knockout match once and ten times. Drop Zone is really easy to get the ten wins because it's mainly just team-based, and your team most likely will win even if you do nothing. But Knockout requires the full team of four to actually succeed in the match. Not only do you lose immediately after you lose a round, you don't get second chances even at the beginning. So you're you're gone if you lose one round out of the four. Now the next achievement is a umbrella. <laughs> you have to use the umbrella to protect yourself from 2011 damage. The umbrella, aka the Kingsman, uh, I have not yet seen it in actual game modes. I was able to get it in a custom match here to show you guys some gameplay footage of what the attacks are like, but I have not yet found this thing at all in the game. So I'm guessing that it's either not out yet or it's going to be released this upcoming week. Um, the next one is to deal 1968 damage to opponents with the Kingsman. Once again, same thing. I, it's difficult to find. I don't know where it is. The next one is to destroy a Choppa with a missile battery. Now this one confuses me. There is no missile battery in this game whatsoever. So this kind of makes me think that within the next update, which might end up being another downtime update, uh, this Tuesday, I believe, April... What's Tuesday this week? April 7th. Yes, April 7th. Um, we might end up getting another downtime update, which will give us the missile battery item. Other than that, I don't know what a missile battery is, but apparently you can destroy choppas with it, so that's cool. Now the next one is to destroy four walls as Deadpool. This one does not work. I do not know why. I don't know if it was intended to be activated, but it does not work. Uh, if you destroy walls with remote explosives, with pickaxes, with guns, does not matter. If you do, If you try to do this achievement, it won't work. I don't know why it's not working, and if it was scrapped, I don't know why it's still here. And the final one is to use the ground pound emote as Deadpool, which you can see here in the gameplay footage. Um, you cannot do it in the lobby to get the achievement. You have to do it in a game mode. I went to a yacht in solos, and as a matter of fact, you don't even need Deadpool to get this achievement. Somehow it works without Deadpool. If you just have the ground pound achieve or the ground pound emote, you can use it with any skin, and it gives it to you. I got it the day before Deadpool came out, so that's proof. <laughs> but 
that is all for the achievements that were added within the past two patches. Um, the first video that I kind of thought about doing was basically just the first five achievements. It wasn't really worth making a video on it, but now that we've got more, I figured it was time to update you guys on achievements. So I hope this helps you all with how to get the achievements. Some of them, like I said, do not work, and I mentioned which ones those are. Uh, some of them are not activated, so there's only a select few you can do right now, but when they become active, I'll make sure to put up a community post on my YouTube channel to let you guys know. So that is all. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to use support creator code Strutters or HD in the item shop if you wish to support me. And if you're not already subscribed, turn on the bell notification so you can stay notified with all the videos that I plan on making throughout the next few weeks. So I'll see you then.